Students and parents in Clear Creek ISD are learning about a teacher in the district who has been accused of having child pornography. We first told you about Kenneth Fontenot's arrest in our newscast at 4, and now we're hearing from neighbors. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez is live at Clear Creek High School in League City where Fontenot worked. Jonathan. Yeah, Keith, and district officials tell us that teacher didn't show up to work here today at the school, so someone from the school was actually sent over to his house to check on him, and when they got there, they found several law enforcement officers. Nearby home surveillance shows a moment federal investigators swarmed the home of 51-year-old Kenneth Fontenot Friday morning, not long after the Clear Creek High School teacher was under arrest and charged with two counts of possession or promotion of child pornography. It's terrible. It's, it really is. Well, so Lise lives just doors down from Fontenot and also has a two-year-old daughter. I've never really interacted with him, but now thinking back, like, it's something that I would never want my daughter to ever be around. So Lee says the thought of what his neighbor is accused of doing is more than alarming. It's truly frightening, you know, being so close to, you know, a person like that. Others also learning of the news, sharing the same concerns about the arrest and allegations a teacher faces. It's not a good thing at all, um, especially if it's a teacher, like someone that you look up to. In a letter sent home to parents, the school's principal says the Department of Homeland Security informed them about Fontenot's arrest, but don't have any additional information as it's an external investigation. But the principal did go on to say the district has taken immediate steps to place Mr. Fontenot on leave. That's supposed to be a place where where we can send our kids off to learn and to be mentored but when they're around people like that it's it's almost it's you'd almost rather homeschool them in late tonight we learned that that teacher did post a forty thousand dollar bond and is out of jail this evening meantime the district tells us extra support counselors will be brought in should students need them we are reporting live tonight from leak city i'm jonathan martinez kprc channel 2 news